which was John, that, that matter of fact, God is speaking to the church. And it says Revelations, if you go with me, amen, to Revelations um, chapter 3, verses 7. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, right? These things saith, he that is holy, he that is true, he that has the key of David, he that has opened, he and no man shutteth, and shutteth, and no man openeth. Right here, God has given a description of himself to the people. He's given a description of himself to the people. Tell your neighbors, God has to let you know exactly who he is. Let you know. No, hello, I'm Jesus. Jesus who? Jesus the one that has the key. Hello, somebody. He describes himself to be holy and true. Those are two things. That God is, I don't care what day it is. He is holy and he is true. And like I said, holiness means to be set apart, but it means to be uniquely special or one of a kind. Holiness. Turn and say, holy. Are you holy? Are you holy, holy, holy? Holy, holy cannot be put in the class with nobody else, nothing else. Holiness is the only thing that lives by itself. Holiness. Yeah. And nothing else can be with holiness. Tell me that say nothing else. Nothing else. Can be with holiness. Can be with holiness. This is not a holiness message because you know y'all know how to live holy. We get that message every single Sunday. Right. That live holy. Who your daddy? Who your cousin? Who your auntie? <laughs> holiness is still right. Y'all ain't said nothing. Holiness. Our apostle preached firmly on holiness. Yes. And she wants us to live what? 